If you're an online content creator, here's four reasons why you should set up an LLC for your business. My name is Andrew Ayers. I'm an estate planning and business law attorney with offices in Edina, Minnesota and New York City. And if you're watching this video, just like you, you can see I'm also a content creator and I have my own business. So when clients come to meet with me and they're starting an online business, it's important that we look at the different options for them about whether they should remain as a sole proprietorship, which is a business where you really don't do any filings, or should we create some kind of a business? And oftentimes we'll suggest that they create an LLC. So the first reason you should create an LLC is it reduces your personal liability. Now this is common and this is something that almost everyone talks about when they're talking about LLCs. So what happens is the business is the one that has the assets, the business is behind the content creation, and if something goes wrong, there's a lawsuit for some reason about the content you've created, the lawsuit is against the LLC, not against you personally. So just like any other LLC, just like any other company, if we're creating content, we wanna have some kind of protection for you from personal liability, you wanna create that LLC. Reason number two, Running the business behind your content creation machine is much easier when you have an LLC. So it's easy to set up that LLC for you. So in most states, it's just a simple filing. There actually is less paperwork than a lot of uh, other types of corporations or partnerships. So the LLC is an easy way to set up the business behind your content creation machine that you're working on. So you're actually running a business. You've created this business, it's pumping out content, and the LLC is a great way for you to have that business behind it because it's only you. You don't have to hire employees. You don't have to work with all these other overheads that you can run into a traditional business. You don't have to have uh, in-house people. You can do it all yourself. You are the business. And so having that LLC makes that part of your content creation a lot easier. Number three, and one of the main reasons people will do it, is that it's going to lower your tax burden. So when you have an LLC, you can do what's called an S-Corp election. So it's just you, and the LLC can do an S-Corp election, which is a federal tax election, and it's something you can't do with just a sole proprietorship. So without the S-Corp election, you're technically taxed as what's called a pass-through entity, meaning that the net income passes through to your personal tax return. So all that money you're making from creating content goes directly onto your personal tax return. However, the S-Corp election will treat you as the employee of your business for tax purposes. And what that does is it'll reduce your self-employment taxes that you would pay if you were a sole proprietorship, and it allows you to contribute pre-tax money to your 401k and your health insurance premiums. So it's a great way to lessen that tax burden, especially when you start making some serious money from your content creation. Another big advantage of having that LLC is then the LLC can own the equipment you use. So if you need a new camera, you need a new computer, you need a new microphone for your videos, the LLC, the content creation machine, is the one who can purchase it. It doesn't have to come out of your personal pocket. Use that LLC for these expenses so you can grow and get the best technology and get the best assets your company needs to create content. And when you're doing all this, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the importance of hiring a good accountant. You need to speak to an accountant as that LLC gets set up so that you can work with them and get the best tax treatment you can get under the law. Otherwise, you're just trying to figure it out yourself. And when you come to tax time next year, there's a lot of things you may have never dealt before, dealt with before. And then you're busy working on content creation. You don't want to worry about the taxes. So hire a good accountant to work with your LLC. It's going to cost a few dollars, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Fourth reason to create an LLC for your content creation business is the credibility that comes with it. So if you look at most businesses, when you see the word LLC after it, it seems a lot more... Uh, seems more credible. People say, oh, okay, that's that's John Smith. Wait, that's John Smith LLC. That seems a little more because there's a business behind it. The other thing it does is it makes it an actual asset that you can sell. So you've created your content creation business. Let's say you have a fun name online, John Smith LLC. Uh, John Smith LLC videos for students. When you no longer want to do that content creation, you can actually sell the LLC. You can create a different company name if you'd like that doesn't tie, it's not tied to your personal identity. Um, and we're going to talk about that in a second. And by doing that, it allows you to then sell that LLC down the road. You're not stuck being the content creator for the rest of your life. You can have create a fantastic business, sell it to somebody else and move on and maybe create a whole new channel. It allows that business to go on without you after you're gone. And it doesn't have to be tied to just you. And if you think that creating an LLC is just a trick that the lawyers are going to use to get you to spend money, 
I would tell you, why don't we look at some of the top influencers on social media? So I looked up the list. I looked up five top influencers and you'd be interested to see what you find. Mr. Beast has at least two different LLCs, Beast Holdings and Mr. Beast YouTube, both LLCs. Jake Paul has 10 digit investments LLC. Rhett and Link have Mythical Entertainment LLC. And if you're dealing with children, the LLC can be a great way to manage the income from their channel. If they do the unboxing videos and other silly videos that people love to watch and are sponsoring. So children's channels, for example, like Nastia has Like Nastia LLC and Ryan's World has Sunlight Entertainment LLC. So if you look at all the top influencers on YouTube, they've all got LLCs as well. And when I'm looking to businesses as a lawyer, if everybody else has an LLC, I'm going to wonder, is that the right way to go? I mean, because if everyone else is doing it, if the top people have LLCs, what does that mean for me and my business? So when it comes to an LLC for your content creation business, there's two ways you can handle this. The first is you can try to do this all yourself and it's doable, but you're a content creator. Go focus on that. Don't worry about the legal work. The second way you can do it is work with professionals. As I said, talk to an accountant, talk to a lawyer, make sure you're getting the right setup for your LLC. As you grow, as your channel creates more content and you get sponsorships, you're going to need help with those contracts you get. All these companies that want to sponsor your content, there's going to be a contract involved. You want that to be in place before you start creating the content for them. And it's a better idea to have that LLC ready to go and be the LLC that enters in the contract with them. This LLC should be set up before you start content creation, before you get that channel going. You may shoot a few videos here and there, but as things start to take off, don't wait till the end to create the LLC. Work with those professionals. If you're ready to get started, you can go to my website, andrewmairs.com. There's a red legal strategy session button on the main page. You'll be taken to my personal calendar where we can set up a 15 or 20 minute phone call. We call it a legal strategy session and we can, we can look at your content creation business. Do you have an LLC formed yet or are you still just doing it as a sole proprietorship? Either way, we can talk through the options for you and give you a roadmap and some plans for the next steps so we can take that content creation business and continue to grow it and grow it until hopefully one day you can sell it off for millions and retire.